And we're now all set. Paris Saint-Germain against Olympiakos. Now Cavani. Try to play it through. Manolas with some good covering. It's a throw in. It's opened up nicely for him. Saved by the keeper. Oh, what a great individual effort that was. Lovely close control, good balance. A shame he just couldn't add that finish. Now through to Paolo Machado. Levetsi. Here is Cavani. David Fuster, Paolo Machado, Alex, Matuidi, and Ibrahimovic. Avram Papadopoulos takes advantage of a poor pass. Vital interception there. Matuidi. Now Cavani. Ibrahimovic, he carries it. Maxwell is looking to deliver a decent ball in. Steals the ball. Pumps it upfield. Maxwell. Now Cavani. Surely he's in. Chance here. Can he shoot? Goal! Paris Saint Germain. And that's the opener for this game. So we start again at 1 0. Yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts. And it's just a very tidy goal scorer. Chance to get a cross in. Well read by Thiago Silva. Lebetsi. The forward push gains momentum. Ibegata. Jose Holebas. Ibegata. Paolo Machado on the ball. He's looking to play it into the channel. Possibility here for a cross. Well read by Alex. Here is Cavani. He began them. And Paolo Machado. Lebetsi. Matuidi. Mariatis. He began them. Jose Holebas. Thiago Motta. That's not going to make it through. Half time is now upon us. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticky. No one's afraid to have a go. It's a cagey game, this one. Plenty to fascinate the spectators, though. The score is 1 0. Betsy. The ball's with Ibrahimovic. Manolas. Ibegata. Now Mitroglu. Paolo Machado. You have to admire that control. Thiago Motta. It's through to Lucas Moura. He moves in swiftly. Mitroglu. 
Thiago Silva is in position to intercept. Thiago Motta. Now Cavani. Off he goes. Ali Saint Germain have a free kick for that. He can have a go from here. The opponents just can't afford to concede any more goals. Plenty of options. Who's he looking to pick out? He's got possession now. Maybe a chance. Thiago Motta can't hurt you with his back to go. And I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off. And, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that. So I think they're defending him very, very well. He's going on. He can take the shot on here. And the chance accepted. It's summer plum. It's a comfortable lead now. Two goals. Well, what can you say about that goal? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to the shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need that. They paid the price and deserved it. So, it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile score, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. Restarts with a throw-in. Could be a goal here. Ibrahimovic. Another one! Oh, yet another goal. They lead by three, and that may just about be that. He's a predator, all right. I know questions will be asked about defence, but there was an element of good fortune in that. Enjoy a three-goal lead. The ball crossed the line. Manolas. Abram Papadopoulos. Papazoglu. Paolo Machado, Matuidi, Maniatis. Knocks it through, chipped over the defence. It's through to Matroglu. Shoots. Tremendous from Paolo Machado. Could that be the lifeline they so badly need? In a straight duel like that, there was only going to be one winner. I just thought he was alert and direct. There was no messing about. He was too quick for the keeper, and that's a fine finish. They restart with the deficit, now narrowed to two. Here's Ibrahimovic. He makes his way towards the penalty area. Another goal. They have a three-goal advantage, and that should be enough. A great finish in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Well, when you go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you can't afford any indecision. And that was decisive and clinical. So, there you have it, the final whistle. Your opponents must be feeling like they were hit by a tornado. They were ripped apart time and again by the movement and passing up front. Look, that's what supporters love to see. Tremendous will and spirit, crunching tackles and a real desire to attack. 